like forever. I know, it does. It was a month ago, but. Three, two, one. Good afternoon. It's Robert and Julia Miller with Rethink Real Estate with another exciting, exciting. real estate update. It certainly will be exciting. Last oh time was May 12th, June 14th today, so just right out of month. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. We've made a decision to go ahead and start doing these uh, twice a month again um, instead of just once a month. Once a month just seems too long in between. Um, but I think twice a month will be good. We're still doing some community updates, which will be good. Mm -hmm. um, drive throughs, drive yep. around community videos. Drive around communities. Videos. Um, um. We always do uh, virtual walkthroughs too. If you're someone that lives out of state uh, or out of country for that matter, mm -hmm. um, and you're interested in buying a house or looking at a community, we'd be happy to do those virtual drive throughs or walkthroughs on particular houses. So. Just let us know. We're kind of busy doing that a little bit these days. Right. It's working out pretty well, too. Good yeah. decisions being made yeah. based on those videos. So yeah, take advantage of that free service. So start us out. What are we looking at? Okay. Well, I got a joke for us. Oh, I have a joke, too. Go right ahead. You have one, too? Really? Okay. Well, it's a little known fact. A lot of people don't realize the actor who played Wilson in Castaway is the same actor from the volleyball scene in Top Gun. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even right. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Little known fact. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I think that you'll like this one too. <laughs> I'm laughing already. I haven't right. even heard it. All right, lay it on me. Okay. What do you call 100 rabbits running backwards in a row? <laughs> I can't imagine. What do you call a hundred rabbits in a row running backwards? It's a receding hairline. <laughs> <laughs> that is That makes perfect sense. A receding hairline. Courtesy of my mother. First thing this morning in the kitchen. <laughs> perfect. Oh my gosh. So wait, wait. I need that joke. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. A little yeah. bit of history that happened this week. 1982, Argentina surrenders to the British, June 15th, ending the Falkland Islands War. Wow, you you know, you bring up the Falkland Islands a lot. Is that someplace on your bucket list? You know, it kind of flew under the radar mm -hmm. uh, as far as wars go. But, yeah, 1982, um, I mean... Long, I, long live the king. I guess. All right. That's right. Moving on, 1967, Thurgood Marshall becomes the first black Supreme Court Justice, June 13th. And I wrote some notes there for you because um, Thurgood uh, Marshall was instrumental in uh, civil rights, civil rights lawyer, and uh, he proceeded over the Brown versus Board of Education. Right, that makes perfect sense, 1967, end. yeah. Yeah, he was appointed by Lyndon B. Johnson. Excellent. Mm -hmm. so. All right. 1951. It's hard to believe it was that long ago. The first commercial computer, Univac 1, debuts at the U.S. Census. And it was the size of like a room, right? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was like the size it, of a Yeah, it was room. monstrous. Yeah. yeah, it was monstrous. Yeah. I re I've seen them like pallet jacking components of it around <laughs> in the rooms, yeah. Uh, okay, on June 17th, the Statue of Liberty arrives in New York packed in 200 crates. And it's funny, we were just talking about the Statue of Liberty, um, and we were talking about, we knew she had the, the torch of liberty in her hand, but we mm -hmm. kept wondering what was the, uh, it's actually in her right hand, she holds a book, we thought. Mm -hmm. It's actually tablets in her right hand, and they're inscribed in the numbers, uh, the Roman, Roman numerals for July 4th, 1776. Oh, 7 4, 1776. Yeah. I like it. Did you also know that um, she has a broken chain and shackle around her feet, and she's taking a stride forward, um, and that's symbolic of um, slavery? Breaking free Breaking into freedom. Breaking free into freedom, yeah. All right, all right, very educational, yeah. thank you. <laughs> um, finally, 1877, the first observance of U.S. Flag Day is held, June 14th, and today is Flag Day. Flag Day, happy Flag Day. Yeah. It was the Congressional um, uh, 
Congress, con congressional um, movement or whatever uh, decision that made Stars and Stripes the symbol of America. That's, oh, that's okay. why they commemorate June 14th. Mm, okay. There you go. Very informative. <laughs> All right, there's a little history for you. Let's move yeah. on. News, biggest thing going on that just occurred. I just watched it. Uh, the Fed uh, made the announcement that they were going to pause, pause. rates. And, the Fed is pausing. Um, which was expected, but they, they went through with what was expected. Now, Jerome Powell's um, speech afterwards, he made a couple of points that just because they pause this time doesn't mean future meetings, they won't end up right. increasing it. They're going to continue a hawkish stance. Um, also made it clear that there was no discussion about what they would do in the future at this meeting. Right. So everybody's asking, what are you planning on doing at your next meeting? He said, we didn't even talk about it. It wasn't brought up. We're not, we're doing this moment by moment. We're not uh, yeah. looking into the future. What so. they talked about, well, they, <clears throat> I believe part of his speech did include um, them saying they did survey uh, the committee to see what the committee expected out of the economy moving forward. Right. Um, but that's it, you know, just kind of a survey. Yeah, but the point being they made no decision on oh, no. whether they're going to do a rate hike next time. That was the no, big million still, dollar question that everybody wanted to yeah, know. But. They're still watching, like you say, being hawkish and just watching all you the know, indicators. You know what it reminds me of? What? It reminds me of going on a diet <laughs> and say you want to lose 20 pounds right and man you knock out 15 and now you're only five pounds away okay all right and those stubborn five pounds uh, just yeah. you've got to work 10 it times as hard so as you hard. did to get rid of the 15 to get rid of those last yeah five. yeah that's true yeah that's true Okay, so that's pretty much uh, what was in the news for this week. There wasn't really anything earth-shattering okay. uh, beyond that. So do you want to go ahead and jump into the... Sure, um, the Crumford Report. Yep. Yeah, what I'll do is just kind of touch base <clears throat> on the, um, the conditions of the market, market conditions, um, as she went through, Tina Timbier went through at the end of the... Um, review. I think I think that's the best place stuff to review here. No, this was a mid-year review, right? Yeah, I'm covering okay. kind of a mid-year review. Um, bottom of the market, December 2022 to May 2023. So, what's gone over? What's happened over the fa past five year, five months, right. essentially? And it's interesting when you look at a whole year. So you compare last May to this May. Mm -hmm. um, Which we did in the last video. So right. go back and watch that if you haven't. I may touch on some of those. Right. But there was some negative numbers now negative. that we've moved forward and we're looking at December through May. So a little smaller window, the numbers seem to be much more positive. Well, yeah, May 2022 <laughs> was the peak of the market from what we've seen and what we're looking at now. December was the bottom of the market. So if you've been waiting for the bottom of the market, it's gone. Yeah. We're seeing only positive numbers, pretty much only positive numbers um, from December 2022 to May uh, 2023 and into June still. So, okay. um, lay it on us. Yeah, median sales price uh, from December was 415,000. This May, our median sales price was 437,500. Positive. So positive increase of $22.5 thousand dollars. Um, sales price over asking price uh, in December was at, or sales over asking price, the number of sales, was at 12%. 12% of sales were over asking price in December. Now, they're at 19%. Positive. Yep. yep another positive. Uh, increase of 7%. Seller concessions to buyers back in December were 50% of sellers were giving concessions. Now we're at 43%. Definitely still happening, but if you wanted a big concession and you're, the numbers are coming down as far as that goes. 
uh, down 7% from that. Um, median concessions amount back in December was $9,400. Now we're at about $8,550. So that's a decrease there as well. Um, December sales price to list price ratio back in December was 96.6%. 3.4% below asking, uh, or list price at the time. May uh, sales price list price ratio is at 97.8%. That's an increase. Guess what? So 2.2% below asking price. That's still pretty normal. That's pretty, you can yeah, bank on that pretty much pretty in a normal, normal healthy market. Mm -hmm. That's that 98% yeah. number is Yep. Pretty spot on. Uh, median days on market prior to receiving a contract back in December was like 55 days. It was taking forever. Now we're back to a more normal 22 days. It's a decrease of 33 days. So um, that's kind of the summary on that. Um, let's see here. Um, June so far, what we've got uh, kind of a summary for that. Supply is still declining. <laughs> That's the bad news. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, lowest level and new listings coming on the market is the, the biggest reason why supply is still declining. Same old story. Nobody wants to give up a 2.85% loan to get a 7%. It's yeah. just holding sellers back. We're doing it. Yeah, <laughs> but we're the exception to the rule. <laughs> I, think, I think there are definitely some people that are doing it. and like you and I, we realize rates will come down. Um, will, they, will we see 2.8% again? Probably not for a really long time. We might see ever. four and a half. We might come back down to four. So, and we're that okay would, with that. We can refi then. Yeah, we sure. can definitely refi. <clears throat> um, so yeah, it's the lowest amount of new listings coming to the market in 23 years. Ooh, it's a long time. It's a long time. but. The positive is greater Greater Phoenix is um, the amount of sellers markets is growing. And it's tracking more like 2019. Casa Grande and uh, is the last remaining buyers market. So buyers, if you're looking for the one last place you can get the best possible deal, it's in Casa Grande. Casa Grande, yep, it's definitely a growing area. That's for sure. Uh, Buckeye and Maricopa are the last remaining balanced markets, so that's good. Uh, another positive thing is FHA contracts are getting more popular just because the rates are a little bit lower sometimes than conventional loans, so you know that may work out better. Down payment assistance programs are coming back, so that's great. One more thing before I leave um, my uh, recap here is appreciation. We get asked all the time about appreciation. Uh, yeah, Julia, but the homes aren't appreciating quite quite like they were. Um, you know, no, it's not 22% appreciation. Yeah, those days <laughs> no, are gone. We're not. back to normal now, um, but we are still experiencing it. And all segments of the market are appreciating, all of them. Um, under 300,000 and over 2 million are seeing the highest appreciation. Uh, the two million is kind of surprising. It's kind of surprising, yeah. but it is. Okay. It's actually, I think that one's actually like 9% wow. appreciation. Yeah. Um, 400,000 to 500,000, which is kind of the bulk of the market. It's the median sales prices right in that area. So their appreciation is at 2.6%. Okay. And that so, again is uh, December to May, right? Yes. This is December to May. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So just a couple of tidbits as I was following along okay. uh, with Tina, the points that she made. There's, there's a, a major debate on whether they are measuring inflation all wrong um, because the long data lag results in misleading data. Yes. So they're looking at numbers shorter. You can actually come up with a number of 0.6 for the inflation rate mm -hmm. right now. Right now. Yeah, um, they especially the CPI, when it comes to mm. the CPI, how they're measuring the CPI and housing, specifically in the core CPI, it's, it's skewed. 
Well, it, she kept pointing out more and more of the experts were falling in line or questioning or articles coming out, quoting yeah. them. Are we measuring inflation wrong? Are we measuring wrong? it wrong? Is um, this wrong? So I found that kind of interesting. It seems wrong. <laughs> um, you know, she yeah. wanted to remind us buyers that are feeling like, oh, wow, I've missed the boat. You still have a 7% discount from what you would have paid for the same home last year. Yeah. So, that's a great way to look at it. Yeah. That's that's how we're looking at it, you yeah. know. We are in the middle of purchasing a new home and so it's yeah. We're going looking at the price going, okay. I can live with that price. So the rate of sales is increasing every year or every month, although it's below normal. Yeah. But we're also below normal on the inventory level. So both of those mm -hmm. are running parallel below yeah. average. The Finally, water is still an issue that needs to be watched. The government is pausing new 100-year certificates. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to have no effect on existing homeowners, and it's going to have... No effect on existing building going on. Right. If you can see a building going on, you're fine. Or even beyond that, if the certificates already been issued, even right. if you don't see anything coming up out of the ground, it's already approved. Mm -hmm, so this true. isn't something that's going to affect us uh, short term. It'll be an issue maybe three or four years down the road, but still something you know that we should keep an eye on. Yeah, it was contract ratio that that you're talking about. Sales or contract ratio is how we usually talk about it. Um, we will see it drop, um, but that's seasonal over from the last half of the year, there is a drop off usually in uh, the contract ratio. The last half of the year is better for buyers. Guess what? It's less competition. Yep, that's true. We're at 76.1% per is our sales ratio. So when she did the numbers, which was June 10th, there were 10,685 active, 8,127 under contract. Mm. Still very much like uh, 2019 at that 76.1%. Okay. So. All right. Thank you for the Crawford Report yeah. review mid-year. That was very informative. Yeah, it was very good. Glad we got to do that. Okay. Uh, for rates, 30-year, we're at 6.691. For 15-year, we're at 6.090. And the VA, 6.503. So it'll be interesting to see mm -hmm. um, what the announcement and Chairman Powell's speech uh, did. Right. Um, we'll see if we see any movement there. Hopefully, we'll be able to Hopefully lock we'll in a little a bit lower rate. Positive number, yeah. Yeah. We'll see some positive numbers. Okay, inventory. I've got a little bit higher. Hmm, uh, okay. As of this morning, uh, valley wide, I've got eleven thousand four hundred and eighty-eight. Hmm, Still okay. very low, below normal. Uh, Peoria has three hundred and twenty-eight. Sun City West has a hundred and thirty homes available. Um, that's, uh, you know, usually during the peak, they'll be well over 200. So that's, that's pretty low, really. Yeah. Your price ranges run from 188,000 to 925,000. Mm. Okay. Trilogy at Pistachia, pretty low as well. They have 29 homes wow. available. <laughs> price range 499,800 wow. up to 1,300,000. Uh -huh. Cordobella only has 12 homes available. Their price range four hundred and forty nine thousand up to nine hundred and forty nine thousand, mm, okay. and the Grand has okay. eighty seven, still pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. Their price range two hundred and sixty thousand. That's uh, one of the condos, uh, up to nine hundred and eighty nine thousand. So bumping okay. up against a million there. Yeah. Um, a little more micro look on inventory. Sun City West on the golf course. There are 17 homes available. One of them is a little patio home right off of Pebble Brook Golf Course. It's mm. priced at two hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Yeah. And the high end is nine hundred and twenty-five thousand for being on the golf course in Sun City West. Wow. Sun City West with pools, there's only seven. That doesn't you know? surprise me, honestly. A lot you of have, the active adult neighborhoods, you just don't have, have pools, quite as many pools. You have four amazing community centers. All amazing. have pools, indoor, Ginormous outdoor, lap, walking, play. Yeah, 
so thermal everything you could possibly think of right. so you know you're not going to get a lot with private pools but currently there are seven price range 395,000 up to 898,000 and then finally um, in Sun City West homes with no HOA ah, that's an interesting you do have segment. a you know generally there's no HOA but there are many pockets of communities usually Gem Gemini twin mm -hmm. communities where <clears throat> they'll take care of for an HOA fee they'll take care of the exterior of the home mm -hmm. the roof many times sometimes pest control pest control sewer water yeah. garbage yes. sometimes even uh, basic cable TV mm -hmm. and uh, community landscaping all the way around the house so you really don't have anything to take care of it's all covered in yeah, that you just HOA. Take care of your, your little patio off the back yeah. right so. but for those who do not want an HOA and they're happy taking care of their own uh, property there are 78 with no HOA Wow and yeah. uh, the price range 295,000 up to 925,000 so if you haven't guessed yet or haven't seen um, all of our postings on Facebook and <coughs> social media, we are settled on Sun City West to move to. Uh, we're excited about that. We're excited about uh, all the amenities that we'll have access to. Looking forward to um, it. It's amazing. Yeah. There's so much going on over there and so many clubs, clubs and activities and, yeah. and the talent level yes. of We've been doing some of the center tours and going through some of the different clubs, the the glass and the photography yes. and the art and it's the talent There's is so much just to take part in and be a part of and yeah so yeah and you don't have to be an expert but these folks some of them you can go in as beginners in all of these clubs but mm -hmm. um, some of the finished product that you see of the this metal art they have this a metal gorgeous. studio and, and they have this butterfly leather working and yeah stained leather glass working. we looked at stained glass uh, yesterday and oh my goodness it was just beautiful yeah, was just, beautiful. just could not yeah. believe it so, so anyway all right that's yeah. our report for this month uh we'll be doing another one in two weeks we're gonna which may still be june <clears> but we'll see barely we'll be right barely. at the end okay. of, right at the end of june so okay Everybody have a blessed rest of the week yes. and we will see you later this month. Take care. See you soon.